Hi everybody. Here we are, springtime in Alaska. Today we are going to attempt to get the rat rod back on the road. It, we drive it every summer, but every year it's it gets snowed on. It's that in rots. So this year we got at least one flat tire. The two back tires are very cracked. We'll get you a close up look at that here in a bit. Um, the carburetor is always out of gas. So we got to reprime the carburetor and get all that flowing again. Uh, and I haven't even checked the battery. We may have a dead battery. I don't know. So if we have a dead battery today. It's not going to start today. We're going to have to take the battery to work and charge it because I don't have a charger here. <laughs> We'll cross that bridge later. Right now, I was gonna work on getting these tires done and a good walk around. You can look at these guys right here. They're cracked up pretty good, and there's actually rust coming out of that hole right there, that crack right there. So they're probably not super safe to run on the road anymore. So you got a whole different set to put in there. This tire is flat. It's got big cracks in it right here. So this tire is cracked. So we have. So we have a whole nother set. I'm not gonna say new, new to this. I know a whole nother set of rims and tires we're gonna put on here. But they're all the same size rims and tires, so it's going to be like symmetrical front to rear. So it'll change the look a little bit. And we may have to adjust the suspension to, to accommodate for it. We'll, we'll, we'll see once we get there. So let's go get our wheels and tires, get our the two little tools I have here, and we'll get this action happening here. We need to put a piece of wood under the jack so it doesn't sink into the dirt. Oh, all right, I think we've got everything to make this happen. All right, that there, that there, and will it fit? Not really. Get too carried away with the jack, break these lug nuts loose with a four wheel that's the wrong size. We'll use it anyway. Jack fell apart. Come on. Jack repair. This little doohickey falls out all the time. Pin. There we go. 
this little piece keeps falling off. I keep bending it, but it keeps falling off anyway. Eaters? Yeah, they're everywhere. Woo! We're out in force. Alright, how we got here? I got more up. We need more up. It's only flat on the bottom. Why don't you just turn it over? Use the other side for a while. Found the flat spot. This is NASCAR style, see? NASCAR in the uh, what, 1930s maybe? <laughs> There's a big fatty right there. We'll feed that bugger to the chickens. Oh, should we do that real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Look at that bad dude. Let's go feed him to the chickens. Wants a worm. Wants this worm. Oh, buddy. Whoa, Red got it. And there he goes. <laughs> Red's wiping her beak. That's a good one, huh? Still squirming. Squirming in your belly. That black one's looking for it. I'm like, what what happened? I missed something. <laughs> we might have another one. We got all three of more you. pairs. Look at all of you. Begging. More worms. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. That was fun. Whenever you find worms, like feed them to the chickens. actually a pretty tall tire. <laughs> right. yeah. There's one. Let me whiz through the other three and then we'll move on to the next step. tires. Right, check out the difference in the tread width. Let's uh, give her a little different stance there. It's about the same height, maybe just a hair taller, but it's about two inches skinnier. Skinnier. 
All right, clean up this mess and we'll move on to the next thing. Ugh. What were you saying? That one doesn't roll very well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> this is why we changed it. Can you stay cool over here, Maddie? What are you doing? Let's see if we got any juice in this battery. <laughs> yeah, it may be nothing. Thinks his battery's a goner. Hmm, means we can't finish this project today. Unless. All right. We may or may not have one in the shop we can use. We'll, uh, Angie and I gotta go for a little shopping trip. We'll do that. We'll stop by work real quick and see if there's one I can grab. If there is, we can continue this later today. That's the plan. All right, so it'll be a few minutes for us, but for you guys, it'll be like, you know, snap of a finger, you know, whatever. They, whatever. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be back momentarily. Welcome back friends, day two on this project. Uh, yesterday we had a dead battery. Today we have hopefully a less dead battery. We'll see if it's got enough juice to crank this thing over. Okay. Gotta have your authentic, authentic bungee cord going on here. Spark! Oh, fan came on. I mean, you got power in here somewhere. I left the key on last night. There's no battery in it. But there's no key in it. Um, yeah. Don't tell people that. It doesn't need a key? Well, it kind of does. It still uses the keyhole, but it's so wore out you can fit anything in there. What do you think someone would steal this? <laughs> I don't they can try. I don't think they would know how to drive. Even with even with the knowing right. how to do a manual, it wouldn't so, work. It's cranking before you go try to kill the battery. There's no fuel in the carburetor right now. I do know that because it's been sitting all winter. So we'll go prime up the carburetor a little bit. Then we'll get our choke set. That's something you young kids won't know what I'm saying. Set your choke. But uh 
we'll get to that. Let's get under the hood here and get some fuel on this thing. She's a dirty one. Yep, she's got no fuel. We get a gas can. Oh, we should check the fuel level in the truck as well. So, this here looks like my gas tank. It was intended to be my gas tank, but it doesn't work yet. I'm still working on that. So, we still have the tank that's behind the seat. Which is this guy right here. See it behind the seat right there? That's the fuel tank. This is the gas gauge. Oh, we're good. That's the gas cap. That's the gas cap right there. A rag. Don't give away my secrets. I know. Somebody's <laughs> going to want this thing. All right, let me get some fuel. That's a little vent right there for the float bowl. And we'll put a whole bunch inside there. Right. See what happens.
There you go, John. That's our rat rod. We love riding it. We built it ourselves. Next time you come down and visit us, we'll take you for a ride. <laughs> all right, that's all we got for now. Are you sure? What do you mean, are you sure? Do you want to like do a walk around and tell people what this thing is? It's, yeah. You want to? Well, I know that people are going to ask, and I'm the one that has to answer, and I <laughs> say, I don't know. Well, I don't know what you want to know about it. It's an old truck made out of spare parts. That's all I know. Is it a truck? There's no bed. What is it? It's a rat rod. So, let's see. I guess we start in here. It's all, all original controls. Nothing works. <laughs> Tack doesn't work. The fan works on high. The choke works. I don't even know what this is. I think it's the emergency flashers. Uh, wipers don't work. They're completely gone. The lights do work. We just tested those. The ignition kind of works. I'm not even sure what this button does. Uh, the radio doesn't work. Um, the, there's no blinker switch here. There's a blinker switch right here. Uh, it does physically work, so I'm street legal for blinkers. I choose not to use them. I use hand signals. Not hand gestures, hand signals. Um, really nothing else inside here. Oh, these seats, they come out of a Dodge Neon. Got, got comfort seats. Where's your, where's your window handle? Um, I threw it away. Why? Because there's no window. Oh. There's no window, there's no door frame. It's all gone. I welded it shut. I haven't done your door yet, though. I have a window. <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a, I can roll it up. Kind of. And... <laughs> The floor is kind of cheesy, like Swiss cheese. Swiss cheesy. How was Come that, on. Maddie? Come on, girl. Ugh. Oh, there's the ground. A couple inches. Oh, wow. So the back end of this is a four nine inch rear end. It's the original rear end out of the truck. We chopped the frame off, stuffed it way up here, built it into a, a four link like a four link uh, suspension with this uh, unique spring design. As it's pushing up here, it twists here and pulls down on the spring here. It doesn't work very well, but it's fun to look at. Uh, this is supposed to be the gas tank, but it's not, not functional yet. We may fix that in the future. Really nothing special about the motor. It's just a stock 390. Uh, not stock for this truck. This truck never came with a 390. It's an old 390 FE motor. It has old rusty headers on it. Um, this front front axle here came out of a 56 Chevy pickup. And the original twin I-beam axle used to sit underneath the engine here. And that, all that got chopped out. These springs are the original rear springs from this truck. We flipped them upside down and chopped them in half, built these custom mounts to make them fit. And, uh, yeah, they call it a quarter elliptical, I believe. Quarter dangerous. Uh, the steering box came out of a 1980 Chevy pickup. And then all the tie rods we had to custom built to make them fit. This, this little device here, we built that from scratch. Um, the spindles and drums on the front are off of the Ford truck. The axle's a Chevy, so I converted everything to work. Uh, the battery box used to sit up here in the fender, and we moved it down there. Who's this thing? This? What's the horn? <laughs> Does it work? Uh, no. <laughs> it used to work, but it's not working. I need to get a new one. Because I, I have to have it working to get it uh, legal for the road te technically. That's the big, probably the biggest question I get about this is if it, is it legal to drive on the road? And I just tell people that the DMV gave me a license plate, so that makes it legal to drive on the road, so. There's your license plate. That means, we're, a, that means we're legal. Look at that. So. That license plate hanger. Woo! It's got a bolt right there. We got those. 
And why, so, why did you build this truck? This this truck was originally built just for the flag, which we need a new flag. It needs to go up here. Oh, bother. All right, I'll fix that while I'm talking to you. This truck was originally built to carry this flag on a... Uh, a run called the Freedom Flag Run we do every August in remembrance of 9-11. Don't we do it in September? August, September. 9-11. 9-11. It's, it's held on that weekend. It's not necessarily on 9-11, whatever the, the Saturday is on that weekend. And uh, so I built this truck just for that, to carry this flag. And I built this truck in two months. We rolled it in the shop two months later. It, it was this. Uh, and I started with a budget of $800. No, I had a budget of $1,000. I only spent $800 building this in two months. So there's a lot of, uh, probably a lot of better ways. I could have done a lot of things, but they cost money. And the idea was to keep it cheap, like zero. All the money went into like, uh, I put all brand new brakes and some of the suspension components are new. Try to get the, like the safety stuff new. Uh, had the custom drive line made, but other than that, we, we pieced together a lot of stuff. And it was just fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. <laughs> but if you ever want to ride, just come on out and visit us and we'll take you for a ride. So, am I good now? Yeah, I think that's it. That's it? All right. Have you, have you ever been stopped by the popo, by the police? <laughs> How long you want this video to be? Just asking questions <laughs> that they're going to ask me. Um, I have been stopped several times. I have never had a ticket. Um, I've been stopped. They told me I needed fenders. They told me at one time I needed a hood because there wasn't a hood on it at one time. Um, but my favorite stop was a Wasilla cop pulled me over. And first he told me I needed fenders. And then he started showing me pictures of the Volkswagen he's restoring. So we got chit chatting for a while. I think he just wanted to see the vehicle actually. But so yeah, I've been pulled over several times, but I've never had a ticket. I think they, they just don't know what to write the ticket under. <laughs> um, and I have been pulled over while carrying a firearm. Um, but that's it's all legal up here in Alaska. We conceal carry, open carry. It's all legal. In this thing? Yeah. You were riding this thing and had a firearm. <laughs> That's what, <laughs> don't say bad stuff on my truck. I love your truck. But, uh, what else? It's all I can think of. Great. I'm sure people will ask me questions and well, I'll make you answer them. If right. you have, so if you have any future questions, throw them in the comments, be happy to answer them. And if you want more, any more info on this at all, just let us know. We can, we can throw some more out on it. And, and John, you got an invite to come for a ride. If you have future questions, throw them in the comments. Oh, four wheelers going down the road. That could be a blooper reel. If you have future questions, throw them in the comments. We'll be happy to answer them. I feel like my hair's a mess. But it's just the bugs flying around you. Mosquitoes. So, say that again. All right. So if you have if you have future questions, I just throw them in comments. I'd love to answer them. Scoot got it. My head. Is it still there? Nope. Got it.